Have you ever received an email that seems suspicious? Often, it's the start of a sinister plot called a phishing attack. Picture this. It's an ordinary day. You're like Alex, who's just sifting through his inbox when he stumbles upon an email from his bank. It's a message that looks legitimate with all the usual trappings of a bank email. A professional tone, the bank's logo, even the correct email signature. But something's off. A slight sense of unease gnaws at him. The email is requesting urgent action. It wants him to click on a link and confirm his account details. It's a type of attack that's becoming all too common in our digital world. A phishing attack. What seemed like an innocuous email is in fact a wolf in sheep's clothing. And just like that, Alex has become a target. Little did Alex know this was not an ordinary email. The email looked professional and seemed legitimate, but there was something off. Let's delve deeper into this case. Alex, an average internet user, received an email that piqued his interest. On the surface, it seemed like a typical communication from his bank. But was it? First off, the email greeted Alex with a generic, dear customer, which is unusual for a bank that typically personalizes its communications. Banks, being professional entities, usually address their customers by their names. This impersonal greeting was the first red flag. Next, the email conveyed a sense of urgency. It claimed that Alex's account had been compromised and that he needed to verify his account immediately to prevent it from being locked. The fear of losing access to his funds was intended to cloud his judgment and push him into acting hastily, another common tactic employed by Fishers. Then the email requested sensitive information. It asked Alex to confirm his account by clicking on a link and entering his bank details. Now this is a big no-no. Banks never ask for sensitive information via email. They have secure methods in place for account verification that do not involve directly asking for your bank details. The email was a cleverly crafted deception designed to trick Alex into revealing his bank details. It used the guise of an urgent official bank communication to exploit his trust and fear. The Fishers didn't need to hack into his account. All they needed was for him to hand them the keys Remember, phishing emails often mimic the look and feel of communications from trusted entities. They play on your emotions and use pressure tactics to trick you into disclosing personal information. The key is to stay calm, take a moment to scrutinize the email, and never reveal your sensitive information. And unfortunately, Alex fell right into the trap. But don't worry, we'll learn more about how to spot these red flags and protect ourselves in the next scenes. Within minutes, Alex's bank account was drained. This isn't a scene from a thriller movie, but a real-life situation that unfolds for countless people who fall victim to the insidious trap of phishing attacks. Phishing attacks are like a quicksand. They pull you in swiftly, leaving you gasping for air. The moment Alex clicked on that seemingly harmless link, he unknowingly triggered a sequence of events that led to his financial downfall. The attacker, now with access to Alex's personal information, wasted no time in siphoning off his hard-earned money. In the blink of an eye, Alex's world had turned upside down. His plans, dreams and savings all vanished into thin air. The aftermath of a phishing attack is not just about the loss of money. It's about the loss of trust and the shattering of personal security. Imagine the shock and disbelief of going from a regular day to a financial nightmare, all because of one ill-judged click. But it's not just Alex's story. It's the story of thousands of internet users who become prey to these cyber predators every single day. The speed at which these attacks occur is truly astonishing. One minute you're checking your emails, the next you're in a whirlwind of panic and loss. The devastation that follows a phishing attack is far-reaching. It's not just about the immediate financial loss, it's about the long-term consequences. The damage to credit scores, the potential identity theft, and the painstaking process of rebuilding one's financial security. The ripple effect of a phishing attack can last for months, even years, long after the initial shock has faded. Phishing attacks expose the dark underbelly of the internet, a world where anonymity provides a perfect cover for malicious activities. It's a world that thrives on the unsuspecting and the uninformed. But could Alex have prevented this? This is the question that hovers in the air, a haunting reminder of the power of knowledge and caution in the digital age. We'll unpack this in the next scene, where we delve into the red flags of phishing attacks and how to stay vigilant. Stay tuned, stay 
knowing what to look for can be the key to avoiding phishing attacks. Let's rewind a bit and revisit the email that caught Alex off guard. There were several red flags that, if noticed, could have saved Alex from falling into the trap. Firstly, the email address. It might have seemed legitimate at a glance, but a closer look would reveal inconsistencies. Fishers often use email addresses that mimic real ones with subtle differences. Maybe an extra letter, a misplaced dot, or a slightly misspelled domain. These discrepancies, though minute, are telltale signs of foul play. Then, there's the language used in the email. Phishing emails often have grammatical errors, awkward phrasing or overuse of technical jargon, all in an attempt to seem authentic. They may also create a sense of urgency, like a limited time offer or a threat of account suspension, to pressure you into taking immediate action without thinking it through. Lastly, let's talk about the link provided in the email. It's a common practice for phishing emails to include a link, urging you to click on it. But here's a tip. Instead of clicking on it directly, hover your mouse over it. The actual URL will pop up, and if it doesn't match the company's official website, it's probably a scam. It's also worth mentioning that legitimate companies typically won't ask for sensitive information via email. So, if an email is asking for your password, social security number, or credit card details, that's a big red flag. Keeping these points in mind could have saved Alex a lot of trouble, but remember, even the most tech-savvy of us can fall victim to a well-crafted phishing attack. It's not about blaming the victim, but about educating ourselves to spot these warning signs. Understanding these warning signs is the first step to staying safe. Staying vigilant is your best defense against phishing attacks. Now let's delve into the best practices to keep those cyber pirates at bay. Firstly, refrain from clicking on suspicious links. This can't be stressed enough. If an email or a message seems out of the ordinary, chances are, it probably is. Be it a lottery you never entered or an unsolicited job offer, if it seems too good to be true, it likely is. Don't let curiosity lead you into a phishing trap. Secondly, never give out personal information via email. Real organizations know better than to ask for sensitive information over an insecure platform like email. If you receive an email asking for your credit card number, your social security number, or any other personal details, treat it with the utmost suspicion. Reach out to the organization directly using a verified contact method to confirm the legitimacy of the request. Thirdly, keep your software up to date. This includes your operating system, your web browser, and your antivirus software. Software updates often include patches for security vulnerabilities that could be exploited by attackers. By keeping your software up to date, you're effectively closing the doors that attackers might use to gain access to your system. Another important point, don't feel pressured by any sense of urgency in an email. Fishers often try to rush their victims into making mistakes. Take your time, think things through, and verify before you click. And lastly, educate yourself. The more you know about the latest phishing techniques, the better you can protect yourself against them. There are plenty of resources available online to help you stay informed. Phishing attacks are a real threat, but with vigilance and a healthy dose of skepticism, you can significantly reduce your risk of falling victim to them. Remember, your safety is in your hands. So stay aware, stay educated, and most importantly, stay safe. Phishing attacks can happen to anyone, but knowledge is power. It's not just about keeping ourselves safe, it's about creating an informed community a network of users who can spot the red flags, who can distinguish the genuine from the counterfeit. Consider this video as a tool, a resource that can be shared, passed around, used to spread awareness about the lurking dangers of phishing attacks and the methods to dodge them. Think about your friends, your family, your colleagues. We all have someone who could benefit from this knowledge. Remember, every single person who learns to avoid phishing attacks is one less victim, one less opportunity for these attackers to succeed. So let's not just protect ourselves, let's protect each other. Let's turn the tables on these attackers. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and help others do the same. Spread the word.